Well, that's a very simple model of population growth. Let's extend it a bit and take a look at interacting populations. I'm going to drag this bit by bit. Whoops, pardon me. Go across to move mode. We'll make that context sensitive at some stage. We haven't quite got there yet in the programming. That's why we need your Kickstarter help to do it. So I'm going to drag each indiv element individually up here to make a bit more space. So I'm just graphing the fish numbers there. Now what I need to take account, of course, is that fish don't just swim around the ocean very happily. It's something they get eaten by a shark. So we need to have sharks brought into the system. Let's bring that down by bringing another integral variable. And I'm going to give, I can now double click as well as right click on INT. Let's double click and call this sharks. Strange that fish is plural, isn't it? So sharks, I've got to use sharks plural there. Let's say there's 10 sharks initially in the system. I've now got sharks there. Now, of course, we know that sharks will starve in the absence of fish. They don't eat seagrass. So let's just bring out a death rate now for sharks. So click here and I'll call this S death rate. And let's just say that death rate is 200% per annum. So you'll decline at like an exponential decay rate if you don't actually get to eat some fish. So that's the death rate there. And now I can make exactly the same equation here as I did beforehand. And I'll bring what I now have to do is bring another multiply block down. Make a bit of space here. And then to multiply that by the number of sharks. And I'll show you uh, another way of wiring it up just to show there are more ways that are to get this set up to show the feedbacks. If I now drag from the tip of sharks here over to the beginning of the multiply block, because it looks ugly to begin with, I can now drag when the blue dot turns up and make the shape look like that. Bring a chart down here. Ah, I'm still in wiring mode, so I'll just delete that wire there. I can do that by right clicking and choosing delete. Now I want to put it actually to the, um, to the red line. So I need to drag down here, put it on the red line, and let's just move those charts so they're next to each other just for the heck of it. Click on stop to go back to the beginning again and chart it. And what have I done wrong? Of course, I've made a death rate without making a negative. Easy enough to do. Let's just show that properly. And let's go right and delete that there. I need to make that a negative. Now, the way we do this, we feed this through a subtract block just down the bottom. So if I now go for wire and click out to the bottom here and then wire that as my input, I'm now saying minus the, 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 death, the, uh, the death rate. Go back and stop again and simulate and we get declining numbers of sharks as I wanted to show. Stage one, I'll keep on going in the next video.